Welcome to our coding tutorial. Today, we're tackling a tricky question that many developers encounter when working with dates in Swift. Our viewer is trying to calculate dates for yesterday, today, and tomorrow, but they're running into a crash due to an index out of bounds error. Let's dive into the details. The viewer's challenge arises when they need to handle transitions between months and years, especially at the end of a month. For example, if today is May 31st, they need to ensure their app correctly identifies June 1st as tomorrow. This is where the index out of bounds error comes into play. Let's explore how to address this issue effectively. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution you need. Anyway, let's continue on. To handle date calculations for yesterday, today, and tomorrow, we need to consider the edge cases, especially when transitioning between months or years. Let's start by defining our date components. In the view did load method, we retrieve the current date and extract the day, month, and year using the calendar class. Next, we implement the logic for calculating tomorrow's date. We check if today is the last day of the month and handle the transition to the next month or year accordingly. For yesterday's date, we need to ensure we correctly handle the transition to the previous month. This includes checking if today is the first day of the month. Finally, we must account for leap years when calculating dates in February. This ensures our application does not crash due to index out of bounds errors. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To get tomorrow and yesterday's dates in Swift, it's better to work with NSDate rather than NSDate components. A great resource is the Swift Date Library, which simplifies date manipulation. Swift Date also supports regions, which is useful for internationalization, as it accounts for different time zones where a new day might start at sunset instead of midnight. And that's it, guys. I hope the video has helped find that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need a technical video, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.